Hey guys, Gunner Run 13, and uh, throwing a quick uh, video update on my last video that I uh, posted uh, regarding AK 47 30 round magazines, um, different options to use from you know the different steel imported magazines to various imported um, polymer to you know American made. Uh, polymer mags and I kind of showed you these uh, ROI or IO incorporated um, waffle magazines and I didn't uh, have any of my circle 10 Bulgarian circle 10s to reference um, which I told you I didn't have at my location here but I did order some so I did just get them in so I want to throw a quick update here you know on these these Magazines, these polymer magazines are made by Arsenal or KVAR Corp. And they're military um, specs, made the military specs. Um, polymer uh, waffle mags. And always recognizable by the circle 10 or double circle 10. Um, and these magazines are, like I said in the previous video, these are what you want as far as if you're not using steel mags. If you're gonna go polymer, you know, I still have yet to try the U.S. Palm American made, but um, so far when it comes to polymer, these are the best you can use right here. Like I said, they're military spec, so they have the steel lugs in the front and the back, steel reinforced feed lips, and steel reinforcement inside the magazine also. Very very durable. I know Kvar runs a couple videos on just different destruction tests over some of these other polymer magazines like the Tapco and then there's of course and of course you know there's past but they are well known and from my experience and others that you you know if you go out there and look you can find these are top of the line these are the best of the best now they're gonna cost you a pretty penny you know like I said I found a source where I get these for thirty dollars and eighty cents exactly um, pretty much the cheapest that I found. They're usually about $35. <coughs> Excuse me. $40, $40 sometimes. Um, right now for the AK-74, which I haven't picked up yet. Still still working on it. Um, I do got a local source where I can get the um, AK-74 Circle 10 and Circle 21 mags and Russian polymer mags too. Um, so I got to pick up some of those, start stocking on those. But um, these are the AK-47. 30 round circle 10 Bulgarian circle 10 uh, magazines now when you buy like an arsenal when you buy an arsenal that's this is what you're getting pretty much a five rounder same exact thing so that's what I was uh, referencing referencing before like I said I picked up uh, five of these so I got now um, 11 of them total of the circle tens a little pricey so you know, get them when you can, while you can, and um, you won't regret them. These are, like I said, the best of the best. After that, polymer mags that I tend to like are these uh, Polish mags. Personally, I haven't had any problems with them, but, uh, you know, these are the ones that I would trust with my life the most. Um, if I'm not using steel magazines, that's why I keep these with my rig and a rifle, you know, off-site at a bug out location um, I chose to carry these mags so um, one cool thing is for an AK enthusiast there's a magazine that comes out from guns and ammo every year the complete book of the AK 47 which this is the latest edition just came out uh, like a week ago the reason why I'm bringing this up is the magazine from a couple of years ago which has this Bulgarian AK-74 on the cover. This was uh, 09, I think. Sorry, this is the 2010. First edition was 2009, 2010. They had last year's 2011, which has a uh, Wasser on the cover. I think the initial 2009 also had a Wasser on the cover. Well, anyways, uh, for an AK enthusiast, these are great magazines to get all about the AK. 
But the cool thing about this one from 2010, I always go back and reference this article. It's like a five-page article, six-page article, breaking down the different various um, magazines from all, you know, throughout the world, beginning from the first Russian to uh, the Russian slab side magazines, which there's actually one for sale, a couple for sale in my local gun shop, but they want $75 each. Um, but, you know, people collect, and I do collect these ma actual magazines. Because um, like the AKs, like if you look over here, got a few AKs. I like to get AKs from different, you know, countries, you know, the history of them. And same thing with the magazines. There's so many different AKs that were produced in magazines also throughout the world. And this is a great, you know, magazine to reference to, to show you all the little markings so you could identify, um, you know, what magazine is what. Like, for instance, going off of this article right here, this is a, uh, the second one here from the left, is a, uh, Early Ishmash spine stamped steel magazine, which I know I have a couple of them right here, based off of the, the specific markings. Um, so it's pretty handy. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, handy uh, magazine to get. You know, I'll show you all the different followers. You know, everything shows a different you know part of the magazine that can help you figure out which ones are which. You know, from the bottom. Oh, the magazines, the floor plates to, you know, diff different followers to even the springs may have certain markings. Because, I mean, when it comes down to it, they're made everywhere, these magazines. You know, China, Russia, Bulgaria, um, even made some in um, Finland, which are kind of cool. These waffle magazines, they look like uh, Bulgarian circle tents, speaking of, right there. So, anyways, just... I want to show you what I reference when I'm, you know, trying to identify all the different magazines. You know, like I said, I've got close to 100, just under 100 total 30-round um, magazines for the AK-47. Various, you know, polymers to, you know, different steel magazines, you know, to the sought-after Bulgarian Circle Tens. So I just wanted to update my video and uh, let you guys know. If you guys got any um, questions or anything, you know, feel free to to uh, send me a PM or a comment on this stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Gonna run 13.